Are you busy, Dr. Royds? Always, but it's a pleasure. Gentlemen. Oh, excuse me. Mr. Stevens, Mr. O'Hallard. How do you do? How do you do? Can I be of any service? Well, we're just looking around, Doctor. Oh, yes, of course. Good evening, Professor Duke. How are you feeling tonight? Horrible. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, if it makes you feel sorry to hear things like that, then don't ask questions. Oh, uh, Professor Duke, uh, Mr. Stevens, Mr. O'Hallard. How do you do? How do you do? Okay. He's Dr. Royd's collaborator. You're an astronomer, Doctor? Not that, sir. I have an interest in the light qualities of the moon. If you might suffer sunstroke, might you not suffer some similar evil from the rays of the moon? Moonstruck, you mean? Exactly. What we call lunacy, from the word luna, meaning the moon. Latin, you know. Oh, sure. However, the lunar rays will never affect you or me, sir, because we are normal people. Sure. But it affects, strangely, certain neurotic types. Yes, the moon is powerful. Why, twice a day, it lifts billions of tons of water that washes the shores of the world like an eternal old scrub woman. <laughs> like what? Oh. Pardon my poetic effort. Yes, but just what I do you mean by that? I'm taking up too much of Dr. Roy's time. Uh, thank you, Doctor. That was very, very interesting. Thank Good you. night, sir. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. You know, the doctor has certain particular hours for observation, and the, <laughs> the moon doesn't wait, you know. <laughs> no. Did you notice the face on that fella? That sailor saw the scrub woman killed tonight? Said that the killer had a face was horribly disfigured. Royds certainly fits the description, all right. Oh, no, gentlemen, I don't believe that Dr. Royds could commit a crime. He has such a lovely nature. Why, he's the author of several volumes of poetry. 